This is not a block by block tutorial, but instead, I'll be teaching you about Minecraft's basic mechanics as quickly and as easy to understand as possible. Today, we'll be going over Minecraft's farmland crops the wheat, carrot, potatoes, beetroots, pumpkins, and melons. In order for any crop to grow, it has to have a light level of 9 or above, but this is not strictly sunlight. Crops can grow under any light source, even lava. A crop must be planted in farmland for it to grow, but the farmland does not need to be hydrated. A crop's growth rate is affected by the blocks surrounding the farmland, the blocks surrounding the crops itself, and the farmland the crop is on. A crop will grow faster in a hydrated farmland compared to the ones planted in a dehydrated farmland. A crop gets a growth boost from each farmland block around the farmland the crop is planted on. So, the crop will get boosted if it's planted like this, but not like this. And this gets boosted even more because it has more hydrated farmland blocks around it. Hydrated farmland gives the most growth boost, while dehydrated farmland gives a low growth boost, and any other block including air and water gives no growth boost. Next, the type of crop around the crop itself also affects growth. Having nothing around a crop or having a row of the same type of crop will neither boost nor slow its growth rate. However, having the same type of crop diagonally will slow down its growth rate by half. So, this will slow down its growth, but this will not. But unlike the farmland, having multiple crops diagonally will not slow down its growth any further. So that means this orientation has the same growth rate as these ones. But what about a plus sign? A plus sign orientation will not affect the crop growth in the middle. However, it will slow down all the other crops beside it because they are diagonal to each other. So, having your crops in alternating rows is technically the best layout for your crop farm. It has no similar diagonal crops, and it has lots of hydrated farmland. Now, pumpkins and melons. Pumpkins and melons can only grow in the four adjacent directions of the stem crop. It cannot grow diagonally. Pumpkin and melons will only grow on moss, mud, muddy mangrove roots, and in any of the dirt variants. All of the growth mechanics mentioned before also apply to the melons and pumpkins. But unlike the carrot, wheats, and potatoes, since pumpkins grow adjacent to its stem, it's better to give it more suitable blocks for it to grow rather than having the same seeds in a row. But why is it faster? Because every time the game decides to grow a pumpkin, it picks one of the four sides of the stem. If you have two suitable sides and two non-suitable sides, then there's a 50% chance for a pumpkin to grow, because if the game picks a non-suitable side, the pumpkin will not grow, and you'll have to wait for the next check. However, if you have 4 suitable sides, then there's a 100% chance a pumpkin will grow. So, this is technically the most optimal orientation for a melon and pumpkin farm. It has 4 suitable blocks for it to grow on, no seam crops in its diagonals, and it has 4 farmland to boost its growth rate. You can always till the dirt if you want to boost it even more, but you'll have to do it every time a pumpkin or melon grows. If you want a more detailed explanation, all the wiki links used for this video is in the description. I hope this is easy enough for everyone to understand and I hope that you learned something new. If there's any questions or anything I missed, let me know down in the comments. Peace!